Hey guys, I'm LB, and I did not enable SB cheats, that was something the map did. So, let's check out Unportable Portals Introduction Part 1 by Flooper. This is a simple proof of concept map. The difficulty is easy to medium. Please comment if you found a bug or glitch or unintended solution. If you only see low-resolution shadows, please restart Portal 2 entirely to see them in full glory. A huge shout-out to Toolby for creating this awesome button model. Alright. Well, I'm gonna hesitate from using my teleport command. Because maybe it would be a bad idea. But we'll see. Oh! Oh! Ha ha ha! Clever! Alright, so we can only shoot portals while we're standing in certain positions. Interesting. I like that. That is the sort of thing that I add to my list. Oops. <laughs> I just tried- I'm so used to it that- <laughs> Yep, there we go. So used to having a portal gun once you get it that... Yeah. So yeah, you can create portals only while standing there. Oh, and the fizzler still fizzles them, apparently. Alright, so. Got a laser. Got a laser receiver, goes to a dropper. We've got another laser receiver, goes to the exit, and a button that goes to the exit. It's a cute button, so I can't stand on it. We have two positions from which we may sh yeah, from which we may shoot portals. So, it seems like, to start things off, we need to do this. Right, not- not like that, though. Haha! <laughs> More like that, please. <laughs> and then we can stand here... ...and, uh... Ooh... See, that's the trick. At the end of the day... We want to have it so that the lasers come out of here. Alright, so. I see how to do this. We shoot... black there, and then we can leave through the laser. And then we come back over here, and we can shoot... green here. There we go. There is our first cube. Cube and bitten button base testing. Alright, so next up... Wait, really? What's going on here? How is this supposed to work? We only got one cube, right? Oh, I see. I see, so we want to use this portal surface. Okay, well. Let's attend to matters as they arise. Let's go ahead and head in here. But we need to bring the cube with us, that's important. Because if we don't bring the cube with us, we won't be able to put it in its place. I wonder, can we put the cube on the button? Nope, it's definitely player only. But it does... It does- it does move. The button does physically move. <laughs> Alright, so. Then we go... Ooh... There-ish, per se. We put the cube... in its place. Come on. There we go, just like that. Bam, bam! Oops, excuse me. Let me out, please. Thank you. And then, the finishing touch. Bluey. Ta-da! That's how you solve that. I like that, that's really clever. I'm gonna go ahead and already add this to my favorites. Portal's cleared, on to the third. Okay, this looks complex. So we can shoot portals from either side of the glass here, but... We have- we can't see both sides at the same time. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so that's- that's anti-trapping, basically. I'm pretty sure it's anti-trapping, at least. Huh. Alright, what is this? An angled panel. It's the see-through kind. I guess we can start by doing... 
Oops, excuse me. Start by... There we go. Just sort of bugged out for a moment there. We'll do that. Actually, I am curious. What happens... if we do this? Does this... Does this allow mobile portals? I'm wondering. Is that... something that happens in this map? Oh my goodness, yes! 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 Mobile portals! Yes! Oh! <laughs> that... is some fun times right there, my friend. <laughs> Alright, what am I- what do I even need to do here? We should probably just, you know, walk up there like a normal person would. Now that we've- now that we've had our fun. So let's just solve this like a normal person, shall we? It is a shame that Valve took a really lazy approach to implementing the crosshairs, so it doesn't show correctly which portals you have open. Right, this just spawns this cube, so we're good. And we can put... said cube near said button. Yes. And... The end goal... I see, I see... Okay. Oh, that was weird. Come on. There you go. So what we want to do... Something along the lines of... This? I guess? Maybe? Not really? I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, it moves slowly. Interesting. Is this supposed to move slowly? Am I- am I supposed to be able to be up here? Cause I feel like this is a massive oversight into the puzzle. Although I couldn't fit through there, so maybe not so much of an oversight after all. Could just try again, like I'm about to do. Nope, can't fit through that gap, so they thought of that. They definitely thought of that. Yeah, I can't do that. Because at the end of the day, we want to actually be on the light bridge. Right? Oh, goodness. Let me up here, please. If we can do this, can we... Okay, we can fit through there. But can we do this right here is what I'm not so sure of. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. That doesn't seem right. We just- do we really need to just, like, rush it and press against the glass as quickly as we can here? Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's see here. Yep, that's- that's not- that's not happen. That's not happening. Okay, so, it's gotta be something different from that. Because if we just put this on here, and if we go into the portal ourselves, we'll just end up up there. Oh, and then we can respawn the cube! I'm an idiot! You know... Woo! That was fun. That's- moving portals are buggy. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about walking on the light bridge up here. I'm so distracted by this whole moving thing here. I completely throw out traditional puzzle-solving algorithms for my brain. Alright. Isn't that a sight to behold? Ooh, we got an escape lift. There we go. What next? On to the fourth. Ah, yes. We have an escape lift down here, but this is otherwise a momentum zone. Which we cannot shoot at from here. 
get a better vantage. Oops. Better vantage of everything. Ah, so this is where we can... Okay, so we do that. Interesting, that's behind grading. And that's behind Fizzler and behind grading. Alright, well, let's just focus on this for now. We Unlabeled button activates unlabeled dropper. Who would have known? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a gap there. Interesting. Alright, so we have this cube. Probably don't need to do what I just did ever again, really. This activates... Oh, come on. Oh, this moves it so that we can use the laser. I'm sensing bootstrap shenanigans. Okay, well. Since we know we have moving portals... We can safely do... ...this. And we can just move the portal back later, by standing on the button. Alright, so... For now, I wanna- think I wanna bootstrap... ...somewhere along the lines of this. There we go. Walk back over here. Come back over here, please. There we go! That's a bootstrap. That is a moving... rail bootstrap. Oh man, that makes me so happy to see moving portals and a new concept like this in a map all at the same time. Really well done map. Even if it's just introductory. How are we expected to overcome that? Yeah, I can get back in here. Okay. Right, right, right. Why did I forget about that? All right. There we go. That solves that problem. So once we're up here... There we go. What is that done? Oh! That's a permanent button for the exit. So then... How do we put the cube in there without screwing everything up? Let me move this portal so I don't trap myself here. Yeah, cause that's just grating. So... As soon as we move the cube... This is gonna turn off, right? Unless we do something about... Oh, right, duh. Portal here, portal there. We can just take the cube out of the equation. Simple as that. Alright. Gimme. There we go. Bootstraps. So this has bootstraps, and moving platforms, and a new puzzle concept. This is- this is an amazing map looper. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!